So Avis, we can take a victory lap, or Frank, you can. This was uh, this was solid pick um, for Avis budget during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, sent out an alert yesterday to sell half of a position. It, well, it's a huge winner. What fifteen hundred percent or something ridiculous? Yeah, we I mean, recommend like that's 20s. amazing. And I don't mean to overlook that, but yeah. we got to talk about the price action because this yeah. is a good, you know. Life is good right now for investors. Markets are melting up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think all indices are near time all, all time highs. Uh, we'll we'll talk about the Fed upcoming in a minute. Bitcoin, cryptos are doing well. Bitcoin's damn near an all time high. Um, that's all well and good. And I don't I don't want to rain on this parade, Frank. But I do want to call out something because the price action in Car and Bed Bath and Beyond. So at one point, Car hit five hundred and change. Five hundred, and it was when it opened. It, so at it was up one, over two hundred percent at one point during the day. Yes, during the day. During the day, it was one. It was a hundred. Where did it open? One hundred eighty. Uh, where where would it close the day before when they reported earnings? They reported blowout earnings, yeah. right? And, and the stock did. was up what seven to ten percent after, and then it opened up twenty, and then it went from like two hundred and and low two hundreds to, I mean. What is it? Five hundred or something? Four five hundred? <laughs> it went over five hundred. It yeah. went over five hundred, and, and you know you're seeing it now. It's down about ten fifteen percent. We sold half, you know, higher yesterday because you know a lot of this move is fake. And let's talk about that move right? exactly. And now I'm not smart enough to pinpoint this exactly, Frank. But the idea that you just you have to keep this in the back of your mind when investing, and you're 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 looking at either whether you're looking at long term or short term, but. You know, with algorithms and most trading being automatic and no human beings at it, because if you stop and think, who was buying this stock at 300, 350, 400, 450? I would argue algorithms and computers and, you know, quant systems or whatever, you know, your big hedge funds that uh, we've talked about in the past that are holding for, you know, seconds or any kind of thing like that. But as an individual investor, if you're in this name and you see these massive rips, do not be afraid to take some money off the table. Because just like we're seeing a pullback, I mean, it pulled back well off its highs yesterday. Now it's pulling back a little bit today. And I don't mean to badmouth the company um, or anything like that. It's just, this just shows you how when you flood the system, Frank, with tons and tons of money and it's just sloshing around, you're going to get a lot of craziness. So don't, don't feel like this is the new normal in the sense of, hey, this is going to go up and it's going to keep going up forever. Just don't be afraid to take some off the table as an investor. Yes. And I want to show you something. If you're on our YouTube page, I show it to you. If not, I explain to you. A lot of you guys listen to this through iTunes and stuff. Uh, but go to our YouTube page because you can see us bring up everything. Unfortunately, you got to look at both of our ugly faces. <laughs> well, my ugly face at least, right? <laughs> so I'm bringing up a chart right now and, and you see the Avis. And what it is, is this is Capital IQ. This is my system. Uh, again, this is we pay a lot of money for this. So... I like to bring up free sites, but this is important because you won't find this on a free site. But it's showing there that where you have the chart, the short interest. So this green line right here is a short interest, and you're seeing it go down to around 10% in May, and all of a sudden it starts going up starting September. So September is at 12%, and then all of a sudden you're going up 15, 16. It's above 20% at at roughly 20. So you look at 80% increase in the short interest leading up to this quarter, right? Uh, somebody what was really anticipating that these guys would come down. And rightly so, we watched this stock because you know, we recommended it in Curse of Venture Opportunities and we were up 800% on it already, re- recommended in the 20s, I believe. Uh, and you know this thing just kept taking off. And for me, like what you said, Dan, you want to take some off the table. You're right. Take some off the table, but don't take everything off the table because you don't know where this thing could go. And, and you know, for us, we were like, all right, we knew the, it would come down today because you have algorithms. And here's what happened, guys. You have short interest. Some guy's caught on the wrong side. So what is he doing? He, he's being forced to buy it as this thing goes higher. And as he's purchasing, it's going higher. Now, algorithms, what they do is just they front run the market. They see all these orders coming in. They get in like a second before them, which is inflating on the buy side or even the sell side if they're going if they're shorting. So now you see this massive move, and these guys keep trying to get out. Trying to, I mean, somebody blew up in this mess, just like they blew up with, uh, with Bed Bath and Beyond. Same thing. Bed Bath and Beyond is a joke. I mean, I, I looked at the quarter where they announced, you know, the buyback program and stuff like that. I mean, and, and you're looking at, at, I don't know where it is today. It was up eighty percent, and I saw it fifty percent. I mean, I could bring it up. I don't know where it is, but getting back to this, Avis, uh, you're looking at the short ratio increasing tremendously. When you see that, these shorts have to cover, right? So right now they short the stock. They have to buy back the stock to close the position. So when this goes higher and higher and higher, it's forcing them to buy back at any price to get the hell out of the position because you're, you're, you have unlimited risk because it can go three, four, nine thousand, ten thousand, whatever, go up and, and, and you're done, right? So these guys are running, running, running uh, with the force selling and just seeing this move, it, it just, the, the point here, Daniel, which is, 
the point we should be making is be careful shorting stocks. I mean, you can buy puts and stuff yep. like that. It, that's fine. But if you're shorting stocks, look out. Because it doesn't matter if it's a shitty stock. It doesn't matter the story. It doesn't matter whatever. But it, you know the way the market is manipulated today, where you could see a lot of this stuff. And that's what happened with GameStop. And that's what happened with AMC, where the Wall Street bed crowd saw the, the short position. They saw the options on it and the put. And, and they just they said, okay, once we start, once this thing starts going on, it's going to keep going and going and going. And then you have this whole entire circle, which... You know, Wall Street bets, even Chamet said it right. It, it's you know one of the most powerful hedge funds, really, with those guys. I mean, look what they yeah. could do with some of these stocks. You know, you just have to be careful because your thesis just no matter what. And I learned that from Disney. I mean, none of the fundamentals make sense. This stock should not be trading where it is at forty times forward earnings when they're seeing declining growth. Their growth model that they went all in on it's slowing tremendously. They have no pricing power. They don't have money to compete content wise with the rest of the guys. But yet, it's still holding up pretty well. You, know, you learn this lesson. You got to adapt to the market right it doesn't matter if you see something the fundamentals don't make sense this is a shitty stuff you could get wrecked right away by shorting stocks but these moves daniel are, are insane i've never seen this i've never seen you know stocks that are up 10 15 percent go up 120 percent we saw this with naked wines uh hedge fund yeah. came on tv last week and mentioned it It was at nine it went to like it, it was eight and it went to 19 i think or nine it went to 19 within the five minutes the guy was talking Saying this is going to be a three X in three years from now. This is what we love, and he, he explains the thesis or whatever. And just the stock just started going and going and going and going. And, and they were even saying, it, "Like, wow, look at this thing! It was the quickest double." I mean, Josh Brown says the quickest double I've ever seen in my life. It was yep. like three to four minutes. It doubled. Now it's back down to ten. Holy shit! I mean, we're in a new age here, right? Uh, yes. For how long remains to be seen, but this definitely gives the bears and your uh, old school investors a lot of ammo to just point to how Fed policies and different things make the markets into a giant casino. And it's hard to argue. I mean, how do you argue that uh, it's not gamification like Robin Hood and things like that when you have those stocks making those moves? So just take that. Just you know, keep that in mind as investors. Uh, there's it's never a reason to be completely out of the game, like you said, Frank. But just kind of. You know, try to keep things in perspective as we uh, continue down the Willy Wonka and uh, Wizard of Ozville that we have. I yeah. got to turn to something. Just real quick before you turn, I just want to show the people these shots. This is uh, Avis. So Avis into the quarter. If you could see it here, this is uh, they put earnings. The stock closed one uh, 171. Uh, then it opened at 186. Nice move. This 932. Uh, then it it started going to you know it started going crazy. Uh, it hit 200 uh, about 940. 9.45, and then from 9.45 to, what time is this? Uh, looks like an hour later, 10.50, the stock went to 5.35. <laughs> and then it came down, now it's down to like 300 level, which is still a massive win from where it was, 170. But, yeah, I just want to show people how crazy that was, how insane it was.